Yo, what is going on YouTube? So, I'm back again with another review. So, I was uh, heading to Target today, decided to check out the new N-Strike, uh, N-Series, I meant, uh, Strike Back. And I managed to come across this thing, and I was like, what? Like, I didn't even recognize it. So, I was just like, you know what? I'll hold back on the Strike Back, and I'm going to get this instead. So, this is the brand new Dark Zone Nitro Shot Venom. I mean, Nitro Shot Magnum. I'm getting it mixed up now because the uh, Venom Pro and the Striker 2.0 was in the Nitro Shot now. And this is the Dark Zone Nitro Shot Magnum. So I'm very excited for this. It's a full length blaster, has slam fire, it's drum fed, just like the original Magnum was. So very excited to test out uh, the new darts in this blaster. So yeah, let's get it out of the package. Included inside is the blaster itself, drum, instructions, and darts. Alrighty, so after getting the Nitro Shot Magnum out of the package, let's take a look at this thing. So, first starting off is literally just a normal Magnum, it's just in a Nitro Shot line, which shoots these brand new Nitro Shot darts. And it comes with 40 of these since the drum does hold 40, just like the original Magnum did. And it simply just front loads pretty easily. And the drum can be rotated to be rolled pretty fast. So these new darts are pretty much like a elite dart, same dimension and everything. The heads are just a little different. I'm really excited to test out these uh, fooling nitro shot darts since the other um, nitro shot blaster like the Striker 2.0 and the Venom Pro just shot half length darts. So yeah, I wasn't expecting to pick this guy up today, but I got it from my local Target for 20 bucks. So go check out the Target. Uh, to see if they have it or not. And up top are two sides, so one in the front and two bladed in the rear, which they both correspond with each other, so you can aim with it. And there's no tack rails on this thing. And I don't get the point to put a tack rail on this anyway, so yeah. And uh, no barrel attachment, because obvious reasons. But yeah, under the barrel is a nice place to put your hand on, so when you're holding the blaster, it's pretty comfortable, so. Yeah, but just like the original Magnum, um, this drum is big, so it does interfere with my wrist a little bit, which um, I did complain in the original Magnum. But honestly, I think I just don't find it big of a deal since you know, this blast is not really much like shoulder, even though it does have a stock. But yeah. But now, speaking of the stock, let's go to the stock. So the stock is adjustable on this side right here. You push this little button down, you can move your stock in, or you can, you know, Adjust it out to the length that you want. And this stock doesn't collapse as easy as the original Super Drum was. So, yeah. And up here is the priming indicators. I mean, priming handle. So when you prime it, which is a pretty smooth priming handle. And this is the weirdest priming indicator I've ever seen. So, like, for example, like, a priming indicator this big, like, you have to notice this thing. Like, if you're firing, it's right in front of you. So... That's pretty obvious. And it's very loud. This thing claims to shoot up to 95 feet on the box, but yeah. And we do have some sling mounts, uh, one on the priming handle, and there's really no other sling mount. So there's a one point sling. And this blaster does have slam fire, which means you can hold down the trigger, and when the priming handle hits the rear position, <coughs> you can fire a fire your officer darts pretty quickly. And to the grip, the grip, just like the original Magnum, this thing is pretty much a Magnum, but just in a Nitro Shot line. And the grip is very comfortable. Like, I love the Dart Zone Magnum grip, and I love the way it looks like even the original one looks cool on its own. So, yeah, and the trigger pull is very smooth. So, yeah, pretty much it's a regular Magnum, but you gotta shoot Nitro Shot darts. So, I wouldn't, I think this is a reskin. Which is the first time Dark Zone done it in a while, but yeah. But anyways, let's get to the fire test at CID Dark Zone Magnum Nitro Shot before. So yeah. Starting off with normal fire. Nice. 
that far. Alright, so as you guys can see, that was the firing test of the Dart Zone Nitro Shot Magnum. So, overall, I mean, it pretty much just performed like the original Magnum was. Same capacity, but just a new paint job and new darts. And these new darts are not really as good as I thought. They're not really that accurate. And this thing is a pain in the butt to load. I mean... I have to sit here for a whole five minutes just to load a 40 round drum because these darts, like the barrel is compressed. So actually when every time you push the dart into the, the barrel or um, what do we call this thing cylinder, um, it will compress and it won't go in. So you have to use all your force, almost destroying each every one of your darts just to get them in there. So it is a pain in the butt to reload, but it is pretty fun to shoot. And staying at 20 bucks, I mean, it hits pretty dang hard. Darts are accurate, but dang perfect. So, yeah, Nitro Shot is pretty much just a new Bamboo 2X darts. So, yeah, even though the Bamboo 2X was half length, the new Nitro Shot, or this is a full length Nitro Shot, and the Venom Pro and Striker, like I said, is a half length plastic. So, yeah, overall, the Dart Zone Magnum uh, Nitro Shot, it's, it's pretty fun staying at the price of 20 bucks. I wish you would get a little bit extra, maybe more than 40, just in case if you lose these darts. Come on, darts, huh? And I don't see any advertisement of Nitro Shot on this thing. It doesn't say Nitro Shot anywhere. It just says Dart Zone M, which stands for Magnum 2 or whatever the Dart Zone calls it. But, hmm. You can probably tell by the new darts or the green, all green color scheme. So, yeah, overall, it's pretty much a regular Magnum, but just. In the nitro shot line so it's not something too crazy but i, mean, I guess it works i mean it doesn't jam my function when i slam fire which is very surprising and the cylinder rotates on every prime so i expected it to jam but it didn't so <clears throat> overall it works pretty well um i wasn't uh, expecting this thing to be that uh, much of an upgrade of the original magnum because when i first saw it i was like oh this looks like a regular magnum I wanted to get it anyway because I want to test out these nitro shot darts, the full length one. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, um, there's no link in the description down below to get this thing online yet. So, yeah, no, no link in the description for right now. But yeah, just, just go check your local Target and store. Might have it. I just checked my local Target today. So, yeah, go check it out. But overall, that's all about my review of the Dart Zone Nitro Shot Magnum. So, yeah, I don't know why they didn't call it X2, but it says 2 on here, so it's pretty much called Magnum X2. But I'm going to just call it Magnum for now. <laughs> Giggity. But, yeah, overall, that's all about this review of the Nitro Shot Magnum. Pretty interesting blaster from Dark Zone to make. So, <clears throat> yeah, overall, that's all about this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff. And without further ado, it's not for nothing. Stay tactful. Peace.